I love it because the Dolphins yet again are like, oh, okay. You won the Super Bowl a couple years ago, but now you're offloading some players with some big contracts. Two years straight, okay, we'll take advantage. Last year, it was Tyreek Hill and that crazy trade with the Chiefs. This year, they do it on the opposite end, and it's with a crazy, well, actually not so crazy when you look at the compensation, but a deal with the Rams. And don't forget, uh, right before the trade deadline, it, they, they got Bradley Chubb, too. Um, and, and that that defense, they they just got rid of Byron Jones. Um, they reworked a lot of contracts to clear up like fifty million cap space. So a lot of us initially were thinking, oh, are, are they trying to work on possibly going after Lamar Jackson after the draft? Obviously, because they don't have a twenty twenty three first round draft pick this year. But they were like, no. It's not for him because then they picked up Tua's fifth year option. So they recommitted to their QB1, literally QB1 since his jersey number is one. But it was for this. It, it was for Jalen Ramsey. And let's look at the trade compensation. Uh, the Dolphins, of course, get Jalen Ramsey. And, and I'm sure he's going to look like he's going from what L.A. Uh, to Miami. Like not bad options at all, man. Like, he, he went from Jacksonville to L.A. So that's a big change. He went from Florida to L.A. And it's like, oh, okay, well, boom. Then end up winning the Super Bowl. And then he's going from L.A. to, to down to Miami. Like, come on now. They don't get no better than that. But anyway, um, the deal, the compensation. Jalen Ramsey to the Dolphins. Uh, and they said he also gets 2023 and 2024 fully guaranteed. Uh, and the Dolphins just shipped off a third-round pick and the tight end Hunter Long. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I don't have any information about him. I'm not aware of his game. Any, I'm naive to his game. Um, but it seems like a super like this, this is how you can tell the the, the Rams were really trying to offload Jalen Ramsey because that was a compensation that they were willing to accept just to get rid of Jalen Ramsey. So they they and 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 apparently they're trying to get rid of some other guys too. I know Allen Robinson. Um, and there, there's been some other ones named as well. Uh, but Rams are like, hey, we got our Super Bowl. And they, they obviously went crazy with trades and signings and all that stuff. And they got it because that's what you do that for. You go crazy with signings. You go crazy with making trades so you can get the Super Bowl because that's the ultimate goal. And they got it. So they won. And now it's like, all right, let's reset. Let's, let, let's start over. And it's like, oh, hey, it happens. But they got the Super Bowl. So I ain't mad at them at all. And now the Dolphins, they've been going crazy with it for the past year and change. And that's what they're hoping to get, too. So they like when you think about their roster and, and I know um, my sports update brought it up or as just just their defense alone. He said their defense can now end up having Christian Wilkins. And I don't know a lot of Dolphins fans love Christian Wilkins. I'm naive to his game, so I can't really speak on it. Jalen Phillips. I like him. I like him, especially when I watch the Ravens and the Dolphins play. I like Jalen Phillips. Uh, but Bradley Chubb, obviously, who we all know about. Xavier Howard, playmaker at cornerback when he's healthy. And I don't think he was fully healthy last year, but playmaker. And he just forces turnovers all the time. So you got Jalen Ramsey on one side, Xavier Howard on the other. That's nasty, man, in a good way. And Javon Holland. Javon Holland is probably, um, that's number eight on that team. He is probably uh, my favorite player on the Dolphins defense. And when I, I fell in love with Javon Holland's game in when the Ravens played the Dolphins in 2021. So two years ago, Thursday night football, uh, we had went to the game and my, my Ravens, they get beat up on. Uh, but it, it made me appreciate Javon Holland's game because I'm seeing this dude number eight literally everywhere, flying around everywhere, making plays everywhere. I'm like, who is that? And they're like, oh, that's, that's Javon Holland. He's a, a safety, quote unquote, but he plays in so many different positions. But th this just makes their defense that much stronger. And, and then they, they hired Vic Fangio as a defensive coordinator. So that should be fun. And him as a defensive coordinator, you know, he's got to be happy. Because he got weapons after weapons and weapons and weapons and weapons and weapons and weapons and weapons to make his job easier. And then it makes his job easier, but it also allows him to make the jobs of his players easier. The more weapons you have, the easier stuff should be for you and for everybody around you, too. So it's just Dolphins being Dolphins. And then, I mean, we ain't even got to talk about the offense. If Tua can be healthy, if he can stay healthy, because that's obviously the biggest question right now with Tua. It's not his game. He could play. Tua could play. 
Um, I, I I got my questions about his arm strength here and there, but he could play. He ain't no bad quarterback at all. But you got Tyreek Hill, you got Jalen Waddle, Mike Gesicki. He you know he's gonna be gone. He's out of there. So I'm sure they'll get a new tight end that fits their scheme a lot more. But um, Dolphins they 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 setting something up, man. Again. Um, but again, we, 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 I think so much just rides on Tua. But it's like with a move like this, where you get into Jalen Ramsey, I, I feel like they almost want to. Obviously, they want to add as many playmakers as they can on both sides of the ball. But I feel like you want to alleviate some pressure from Tua as well. You want to alleviate a little bit of pressure off your quarterback. Because, say, for instance, he is out for a game. All right, defense, go out there and win this one for us. All right, defense, go ahead and close this out. All right, defense, go out there and make this happen. Because we need you more than ever now. Hopefully he is not out. Hopefully he doesn't miss any time. But that's what I would think that the Dolphins may be thinking with a move like this. So I love it. I, I, I love it. And I know Jalen Ramsey, I, I know he's going to love it in Miami. So team, keep it clean. Just like Jalen Ramsey is when it comes to being with the Rams, we out.